New at five, a Detroit roadway gives way, creating a danger for passing motorists. It's a story our Ronnie Dahl was alerted to, and she's already getting results. She joins us live from Detroit's east side with more details. What can you tell us, Ronnie? Well, a lot has happened since I was first told about this problem around 1 o'clock this afternoon. At that time, there was nothing out here to warn drivers of the danger. But now crews are here. The lane is blocked off and repairs are underway. A massive sinkhole at least 25 feet wide and several feet deep. The images are startling and the fear for passing drivers very real. We were just driving down Shane and the next thing you know, we just missed this giant sinkhole. It's amazing that we didn't fall in. Pastor Barry Randolph and his niece narrowly missing the huge hole as they drove down Shane near Medbury. At the time, the sinkhole wasn't marked, alerting them and other drivers to the danger. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, this is crazy. And for it to be in the city streets, just broad open, nothing around it, anything could have happened. Pastor Barry and his niece didn't keep driving. They turned around and with the help of Good Samaritans blocked the road until help could arrive. There was no cones. Uh, we blocked it off with our cars. DTE was across the street. There was a checker cab driver right next to us and we just kind of blocked it off. Called the police. They were here within a few minutes. Neighbors say crews were out here last Friday to patch the roadway. Then this happened sometime today. You can also see all that water gushing out of there, and I don't know how deep it is, but somebody could have been seriously hurt. Within an hour of alerting Detroit Water and Sewage Department to the caving roadway, crews arrived to begin repairs. <laughs> Pastor Barry, a man of God, believes it's a miracle he and others didn't get hurt. God is good. I can't believe that either. And I mean, we just missed it. That was truly scary. And we are so thankful that no one was hurt in all of this. We're told the sinkhole is a result of an 18 inch water main break. Given the scope for the repairs needed, this job could take a couple days before it is complete. For now, we're live on the city's east side. Back to you. All right, nice work, Ronnie. Well, DTE 